In this episode I will show you how you can create a physically realistic rope and how the rope um, can be modeled and created in Unity and the rope is interacting with other physics objects like this ball or this cube. The first thing we do is we model the rope. Therefore we open our Blender um, and delete the cube from the default scene. Go to create, then to cylinder. Make sure you select around eight vertices. Um, you can use more, but I think it's enough. Um, click on the little plus here. Uh, make sure the location, rotation and scale uh, is set to these values. And this is a good starting point for our rope. Um, we go into the edit mode, move them up. So press one and five and make sure it lined up with this axis here. Um, select face selection, right click on the top, press one again, zoom a little bit out with the scroll wheel and move it up until you think this is a complete and uh, a good height for the rope. I will take these, this length. Okay, the next thing we do is uh, hit Control R and scroll up to add more segments. I can zoom a little bit nearer so that you can see these are real segments. So now we have to apply the texture. Therefore, we select the top circle here by pressing Alt and the white right mouse button. You can hold Shift to select even more. And there we go. We press Ctrl E, Mark Seam, so that we have this red line and you, um, Blender knows where to cut our uh, UVs. Now we open up a new window, go to the UV editor and select an image. There we go, our image is loaded. We can't see it right now because it's completely unaligned. So we um, hold the mouse button over our object, press U, click on Web, and there we go. We can go a little bit nearer and change the rendering to the texture mode. We select everything and zoom the thing with S and then we can move the mouse to move it a little bit. Um, as you may notice, the scene is very dark, so we go to a place where we can actually see what we are doing, and I think it, it looks already very good. Uh, press double A to select all, so then we can make some adjustments, but I think it's already good. So. Um, let's get rid of this view on the right by clicking this edge here, drag and drop it to the right. We rename the cylinder, just double click and name this rope model. Now we have to wig it. To wig it, we just create an amateur. We go back to the object mode, click on create and amateur. Now we have an amateur. This amateur should, should start at the very top. So we go up here and place it on the top. Next thing we do is we go into the amateur property settings on the right and click X-ray so that we always can see it. Then we go to the edit mode and the first thing we do is press one so that we have a better overview and just takes this a little bit down. So, and there we go. Down a, the next thing we do is we just um, create this bones by pressing E and we have a new bone and with that we can keep the bone aligned and we do this over and over again. At the very bottom make sure to create one additional bone. This bow, all the bones are represented by one node in Unity and Unity uses a, a one that is at the side with a broader width here. We can go back into the object mode and drag and drop our road model on the amateur. Before that we just rename the amateur to rope, drag and drop it and uh, we select automatic width 
And uh, this is all what we need to do. So what we can do now is we can switch to post mode and try if everything is working. So for me, everything seems fine. I can now use any of the bones to deform my rope. That's all we need. So um, now we export this by going to File, Export, FBX. Uh, make sure you select uh, Selected Objects, Armature and Mesh. Um, and we should also make sure that we select those two. So I have selected the rope and the model as well by uh, holding shift down. I go to File, Export, FBX and then select the settings again and just name it rope FBX and save it to my asset folder. And here we go, this is our rope. Um, we should make sure that we import the model, that we import the wig, uh, the animation is not necessary and the materials are not necessary because we did not create any. So we apply the changes and we create our material by ourselves. We call this material rope. Um, I already have imported this image into the asset folder so I can just drag and drop it to Albedo. I have also a bump map. If you want to know what it is just leave a, a comment and uh, maybe I can do a video on how to create these bump maps. So um, I will just uh, import it as a normal map and create from grayscale. So Unity will automatically take this bump map and create one normal map and I can drag and drop the normal map here. And then the next thing is I can um, reduce the bumpiness to a value that fits my needs. We got everything we need. We just drag and drop the rope in a two hour scene drag and drop the material on it and there we go. In play mode this is what it looks like. So it's uh, moving way too much. So this me is because the uh, uh, rotation isn't uh, perfect right now and the second thing is its uh, damper is too low. I set the rotation offset to 180 and the joint damper to 20. And there we go, this is our rope. You can uh, move the rope around and it behaves like a real rope. And uh, it collides with some objects like this sphere. So it looks really nice, or this cube. And yeah, uh, how this is actually working is uh, we have the script which is creating all the widget bodies so you could also create all the widget bodies by uh, yourself and this widget body has a distance joint 3d script on it so it creates a joint be between uh, the current widget body and its predecessor uh, if you want to know how to write this distance joint 3d script in the top right corner there's a link uh, where I actually programmed this joint and you can maybe copy it and I give you also the um, link to the script into the description. If you're looking for a more professional rope, there's something in the asset store for you. The plugin is called OB Rope. I will put the link for you into the description and uh, this has way more capabilities than our rope here. You can do so many things with it and it's physically so more accurate. I would really recommend you if you want to do more with ropes or if you um, using Unity for uh, more professional things then this is the right asset for you. If you want to see a specific topic, just leave a comment. I will make a video out of it and explain everything you need so that you are ready to do something.